please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Un, deux, trois. Whether it was running races or making crepes, students enjoy the activities sponsored by the World Language Department's Immersion Day. So we'll let some visiting Ford Exchange students do the honors to get today's show started. Welcome back, Geneva. I'm CJ Silverman. And I'm Maury Anderson. We're your anchors for the week from Mr. Breakus speech class. Here are your morning announcements for Tuesday, February 28th, 2023. The students you just saw start the show are some of the young people who are staying in Geneva this semester as part of our foreign exchange program. GTV reporter Miles Keenan joins us now to tell us more about one country and student you should know. Miles? I had a chance of talking with Ava for Portugal. Let's meet her now. Portugal, we speak Portuguese. I can say, my name. hi, my name is Ana. Um, Olá, o meu nome é Ana. Portugal is located in Europe, right next to Spain, as most people know it, and it's a beautiful country. I live in Lisbon, which is a capital city. We normally just have really, like, just normal summers with high temperatures. And I miss my family a lot. Uh, they're my whole life. I miss my friends, my school. Mostly the food, I gotta say. I love one thing that we have is codfish dish with potatoes and obviously sweet rice for dessert. I have loved it so far. People here are very welcoming and I absolutely um, am always filled with activities to do, all the clubs, all the sports, all the events. I'm always kidding. Back to you at the decks. Thanks, Miles. This week is Respect Week, and organizations are asking people to raise awareness for students with special needs. Monday was Down Syndrome Awareness, today is Epilepsy Awareness, and Wednesday is Autism Awareness Day. And every day is and should be Respect Day. Saga's Gays Giving Potluck is today after school. If you want to hang out with your friends and eat some rainbow colored treats, stop by the library classroom EE 184 from 3 to 4 p.m. And if you are signed up for the trip around Europe this summer, don't forget the second mandatory meeting is today after school in room J240. Make sure you have a color copy of your passport. They will be discussing packing, money, tips, and school rules. A fundraiser to help people in Central America is taking place right now. They are selling pulseras in the cafeteria during all lunch hours. Bracelets are $7 and bags are $15. All proceeds go to the artists in this poverty-stricken part of the world. And anyone who will be 18 by April, the Social Studies Honor Society is bringing in the League of Women Voters tomorrow to register eligible students for the April elections. And we have some congratulations to share. First, to the members of the math team who competed in the ICTM regionals at Bennett Academy over the weekend. We had a large number of GHS math leads to take home some top prizes. And to our culinary competitors, FCCLA members have advanced from regionals to state. That competition takes place on March 24th, and if they advance from state to nationals, they will compete this summer. Congratulations to the Academic Challenge ACES team who took first place at their regional competition and will compete at sectionals this Thursday at NIU. And finally, good luck to DECA. They are sending 39 students, students to the state DECA competition this weekend. And now for a look at today's weather. We're seeing a jump in temperatures with a high of 49 degrees and a low of 37 degrees. And taking a look ahead at tomorrow's weather, the high will stay exactly the same at 49 degrees, but the low will drop down to 31 degrees. Here's three to know before we go. Western Avenue Elementary School needs volunteers for their fun fair on Friday, March 10th, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Check your email to sign up. 
Seniors, if you haven't already, make sure you vote for this year's prom theme. Use the link sent to your school email. Voting is open through this Thursday, March 2nd. And in case you didn't know, this school week is only three and a half days. Thursday is a half day, which means there will be no PLC, and school will start at 7.40 a.m. There's also no school on Friday. Well, Geneva, that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Maury Anderson. And I'm CJ Silverman. Have a tremendous Tuesday, Geneva.